What's up, y'all? Back again. T Biz here, and we finally got our Mondo. I think I can't remember if this is a timed exclusive or not, but it is Mondo exclusive, or whatever. It's a timed edition or not. I don't. It doesn't really matter at this point. It really doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I'm just stoked to have her. Uh, I've always been a fan of Tila ever since I was a little kid, and um, yeah, she's badass, man. She's super badass, and I always love the fact that she cucked out Prince Adam all the time back in the day. I always thought that was hilarious, and uh, she's just a badass. She's an alpha female, dude. Always for sure, as far as uh, fantasy characters go. But yeah, man, the box is awesome. The box is just, dude, the, the, the art, once again, is exquisite. And once again, Florian Bertmer just knocks it out of the park. I feel like this is a, the best art that he's done so far on these, to be honest, man. And, oh, man, look, you got Beast Man lurking in the back, and you got Skeletor. Look at Skeletor. He's got, like, this look on his face. Like, let me zoom in. Like, he's got, like, this, like, worried look. I don't know. He looks, maybe he's just, like, gazing. I don't know. Or just, he's lurking. They're both lurking, man. Lurking hard. And there's her horse. Unicorn horse, which I'd like to see an origins of that man. I'm really not interested in. I don't know. I want Battle Cat, but I'm not really interested in getting um the Nightmare Horse for um. I say that for for Scare Glow, but yeah, I need to cut cut the, cut to the chase and review this figure, dude, because I, I love I love some Tila. Anyways, a one six uh, scale Mondo. Yeah, Masters of the Universe. You got the gray skull background, and Tila. And in the back, you got Tila, Warrior Goddess, the noble captain of the Royal Guard, or Palace Guard. The Warrior Goddess Tila is known throughout Eternia for her unsurpassed skill in both battle and combat. Harnessing the power of heroes past, Tila hunts evil with her magic staff and strikes down enemies with her swift sword and spear. As fierce a friend as she is a foe, her divine destiny is that of the mystic guardian of gray skull so hell yeah dude and uh yeah collector's model this is not a toy well it's, it's, yeah it's not really a toy but it's, it's badass collectible dude it's it's hard not to it's hard not to man anyways right orco anyways um yeah so let's see uh concept design emilio santa lucia um sculpt tommy hodges paint mark bristow let's see packaging art florian bertmer does all this cool art and um, photography, Raul Barrero, and um, uh, let's see, uh, our direction, Hector Arce. So yeah, there you go, man, freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, open. And it's funny, because I've saved all my boxes, all my Mondo boxes. They've taken up a lot of space in the living area in my apartment. But uh, yeah, here you go, man, that's freaking cool. She looks dope, she looks super dope, man. They're just, whew. man, oof, anyways. Um, yeah, I think I made a joke or a comment. I don't know if it's in the Mondo fan page or what for Masters or if it was just on the Mondo page itself about marrying this figure, you know? And this dude, this guy just like, he just chastised me over it. And it's like, dude, it's a joke. I'm just kidding. Well, am I? Am I not? I don't know. But yeah, we'll find out soon enough. All right, let's cut to the shit and uh, get this figure open. Check her out. Oh, here's Tila. Got to get her out of all of her trays and everything. Man, she got the mad face. She got like the seductive come hither face. So maybe not come hither, but the resting seductive look. And uh, yeah, man, let's go ahead and... Oh, there's 2000X head. Yeah, let's go ahead and just bust this all and out. Here she man. is out of the box and she kind of has this like look. She's like, am I going to have to whoop your ass? Like, dude, that's freaking rad, dude. The shading on her chest or her like neck area and stuff is like really, man... Like she's all hot and bothered, man. She's all like like furious from uh, fighting or whatever, man. And uh, you got all those little soft, good furs, like little faux fur. It's freaking right. Look at that booty. God dang. Man. Her boots. That's freaking rad. Ankles feel a little loose. They feel a little loosey-goosey, but yeah, man. We're going to have to mess with her a little bit. She's probably going to have to be posed a lot or whatever. But the face sculpt is beautiful, phenomenal. Yeah, that's nice, man. That's beautiful. God dang. God dang. It's like the hair sculpt, badass. That's freaking dope. Yeah, dude. We, oh, man. I don't know how you're going to rock your Tila if you're going to rock her 2000X, but I want to rock her with just their straight up uh, Cobra head thing or whatever. Might have to heat her up a little bit, too. Joints seem pretty tight. Ooh, we yeah, her joints seem hella tight, man. We're really probably gonna have to heat her up a little bit. Looks like she can do some decent splitsies. Um, her waist is gonna be hindered, but you got upper midriff torso articulation, so you got some range there, so that's good. Um, so yeah, there you go. Is there a swivel right there? But yeah, she can she can almost sit. 
but yeah, I don't really, you don't really need her to sit. Uh, stupid. Um, a little bit of a swivel right there at her knee. She does have double knees, so that's cool. Um, there's a swivel at the bottom of the knee, so that's cool. Um, so you can get some good range and articulation out of that. Rocker pivot swivel on her foot, so that's cool. Um, she's got elbows, which, yeah, I'm gonna need to heat this up, man. I need to get the old, um, the old, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, hair dryer and kind of get her a little warmed up, man, so to speak, if you know what I mean. So we heated her up a little bit. Let's see how this shoulder goes. If we can get it to, yeah, there you go, swivels and stuff. And then there goes the hinge. So there you go. Um, her, her elbow, still a little tight, but I'll take that tightness. I'll take it. I'll take it. As long as we don't break it, we'll take it. But yeah, there you go, man. There you go. And once again, uh, Mondo's got pretty good customer service. And if I did ever have any problem with them, what I would do is take a picture or video or send them one of my videos and then just send pictures. Be like, look, I bought all this shit from y'all. You better fix this. But they do they do have really good customer service. So you really don't have to worry about that. I have never had a problem. But if you buy something on the secondary market, you're probably screwed. So there you go. But once again, look at all that detail, man. It's freaking nice, dude. I don't want to go take a bunch of this stuff apart or try to test the, yeah because i think you can yeah take that part it looks like it on pegs but i don't want to do all that man i'm not that crazy about that I'm not five anymore come on man uh, yeah dude jesus man the, the anatomy is great on this figure i think somebody's complaining that her head's to this or head's to that i can't remember man or something or i don't know i don't care i, I really don't care about that all that all that uh complaint collector complaints i really don't care about that stuff man I'm old school, man. I had cross-eyed Lando as a little kid, so I, I, this is fine to me. This is fine. This is fine, man. Oh, but yeah, the, see, those ankles are pretty loose, but kind of makes sense, though. But we'll we'll figure it out, man. And she is kind of, well, she's not like super busty, but she's going to be a little, her body's going to be a little top-heavy because, yeah, she's slender, so she's going to have, you know, more like slender ankles and stuff like that versus like Beast Man or He-Man or whoever, Skeletor or Trap Jaw or, what, or whatnot. But um, yeah, let's check out her other accessories. That's freaking dope. The Cobra Head or the Cobra Head piece or whatever. Headdress, whatever. That's badass detail all the way around. That's freaking dope, dude. I love that. It almost looks leathery. That's freaking dope. Oh, it's I think it's magnetic too. Looks like it's magnetic cuz you can see all these like metal pieces. That's freaking bad. Or is it not? Or that's just painted on. That might just be painted on, but I think it's magnetic, dude, to be honest with you. Well, I don't know. Well, we'll figure it out because I think you got to use a certain head with that. With that. And yeah, and here she is all pissed off. Like <laughs> she looks mad. It's pink. I don't know. No, it's not pink, but still. <laughs> she's all, she's all, uh, <laughs> I heard you've been talking some shit about me. It's all like, <laughs> uh, uh, like, <laughs> she either looks kind of constipated or really mad. Like, that's funny as hell. And here's the 2000X head, which is nice. Really nice, man. She's smiling. She just got finished making fun of Adam. Or, or uh, roasting Adam. That's freaking funny. That's badass. That's nice, man. That is really dope. Super dope. Super freaking dope. That's badass. It's really nice, man. Really freaking nice. How many times are you going to tell us it's nice? Well, as many times as I need to, man. As many times as I need to convince myself. If that works. But, yeah. I don't think... If you're a Tila fan, you ain't got to do no convincing. That's badass. I love the scabbard. It's got, like, a bird head. Maybe, like, Zoar or something. Or... Talon fighter or whatever dude who knows that's dope man the paints once again great looks like nice leather on the scabbard and there's a sword a short sword that's freaking dope i'm gonna shank your ass with this this is badass i ain't gonna lie I ain't gonna lie um here's her cobra staff which uh feels pretty bendy but i wouldn't bend it no it's not supposed to be bendable but uh but yeah let's take a closer let's take a closer look Close up. Oh. But anyways, yeah, dude. That's badass. That is dope. That is dope. Almost looks like a big long thing of dookie. 
But, um, but yeah, it's freaking rad. Um, I don't care. I don't care. I'm giddy because I like Tila, man. And I like getting new Mondos. And I had to wait, dude. This was supposed to be here on Friday on the 5th, was it? Friday? Yeah. And I didn't get it till at my mother-in-law's till like, yesterday. So, I didn't get But now it's Tuesday, so we get it today. Because there's no way I had a few drinks. I was going to go have a few drinks and then go drive all the way down south and uh, go get this figure and review it last night. But that's how it goes. Um, late to the game. Who cares? But, yeah, she's got fists. And she got, like, a hand. Like a come-hither hand or... Or, I don't know, or cough for me, or turn your neck, turn your head and cough. Um, yeah, dude, uh, I want to just figure out how to get the headdress on and stuff and um, and all that, and maybe give her a pissed off head going, get that rocking, and uh, just kind of figure this out a little bit, man. I, I, re I really want to mess with this. Well, off. it took me a minute, but yeah, I had to figure, I, popped, I popped off her torso because I want to get her scabbard on, so it does pop off, you know, so there you go, just showing you. Uh, and here we have her all posed up with uh, one of my generic poses. She does hold this pose well. So, yeah, I mean, her ankles are a little loose on mine. So, yeah, it's, it's whatever it is, what it is. But uh, she does hold her pose pretty cool. I don't know if I want to use this head sculpt, man. I think I want to use her pissed off face because she looks just kind of too chill right now. Like with this look or whatever. But, yeah, badass figure either way, dude. That's freaking Tila, dude. That's Tila to a T, no pun intended. But, uh, her pun intended. But, yeah, that's a badass figure, dude. Freaking awesome. I don't have She-Ra. I wish I had She-Ra. I don't have She-Ra. I don't have Prince Adam either. I don't have Scare Glow either. But, um, but I have the big jumbo vinyl Scare Glow, but I don't have regular Scare Glow. Anyways, um, yeah, dude, that's badass, man. Freaking badass. She looks dope. Look at that profile, dude. Look at that. That's, it's elegance. It's beauty. And it's Mondo Tila. It's like, dude, that's freaking awesome. Freaking warrior goddess. Warrior goddess Tila. That's freaking, freaking badass. And yeah, you can move. Uh, so yeah, dude, yeah, that's freaking dope, dude. Freaking super dope. Freaking super dope, man. Awesome, 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 man. I guess the next thing we're gonna do is get her uh, with some other accessories. Oof. And here she is with her pissed off face and her uh, sword. You know, she's holding her sword aloft and uh, and she's got her shield, her little, her little tiny Tila shield. And, uh, yeah, she's badass. So, uh, I wouldn't count on her, like, totally holding poses, like, uh, very well. Because mine, once again, it's a little loosey-goosey in the bottom legs and stuff. And she is a little bit more top-heavy than her than her bottom legs and all that. Since she's so slender. So, that's why they give you a damn stand. So, that's that always helps. But since I'm a Jedi toy enthusiast, action figure nerd, and whatever you want to call it, man. Reviewer, whatever the hell. Um, I can do some damn Jedi poses and get away with it. Um, because the a pose I had before was a little bit more wicked, but I had to kind of revert to the way I had it before because she wouldn't hold it. So yeah, there you go. But yeah, she looks badass. So oh, stop looking at my boobs. Like, dude, she's a freaking badass. Just all pissed off. Want to whoop your ass. Just cut you, shank you. They're gonna, they're gonna uh, blood that man. Just like, oh, dude, she's freaking rad, rad, rad figure. Um, man, yeah, this is, this is a dope, 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 dope figure, man. Dope, dope, dope. Anyways, we're going to get her uh, with one more with her 2000X uh, accessory and get her holding that big-ass spear, and that'll be it for this video, man. Woof. And I guess we can do some kind of, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to do comparisons because you can see my other whatever's around. We got, well, we've got Skeletor over here off to the side. We can pull him up. But anyways, yeah, let's, let's, let's be done with this video. And here she is holding her spear and with her 2000X style head. Freaking rad, man. Freaking dope, 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 dope figure, man. Love her, love her, love her. She's awesome. She's awesome, man. Yeah, my, my ankles are a little loose. Let me know in the comments if you have this figure and uh, if you got, like, loose ankles, too, and stuff like that. Um, I'll, I'll soon find out when I post some pics and stuff and share my stuff on um, on the Mondo Masters Universe fan page, which is a cool page. Actually, one of the best, like, fan communities on Facebook that I've ever been involved with because nobody on there is a jerk or, or a moron. They're all really cool. And the admins are cool because they approved me showing pictures and videos and stuff. So that's really cool. And um, because I remember the McFarlane uh, DC Multiverse fan page was gross. It was disgusting. So many just, oh, I don't want to use the hard R or any, um, or just stupid. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to go too derogatory. But yeah, there's some 
dumbasses on that on that page. Anyways, on a lot of them. But then the Motu one too, the Motu Origins one that my friend Danny invited me on to at one point. I, I didn't really care for that one much either, man. I don't know. There's some weird people on there. Anyways, but uh, yeah, man. There you go, man. That's Tila, dude. She looks badass. She's bitching. Bitch. She, she got tits and hips. Dude, she's great, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, she's a beautiful, dude. Beautiful figure, dude. Awesome. Just splendid, splendid Tila. Splendid version of Tila. And we'll go ahead and pop old Bonehead over here. Yes. Uh, yeah, there he is, man. So there's old Bonehead, man. Old Skeletor for some comparisons. But he's he's not standing totally straight. His knees are kind of buckled a little bit or whatever you want to say. Or bent a little bit. Oh, damn it, Matt. Boy. I'm going to wreck your Tila. I'm sorry, Tila. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. But, um... But yeah, dude, now, now she's not going to want to hold, yeah, she got her pose back, she got her, Tila got her groove back, anyways, uh, once again, man, uh, thanks for watching y'all, and, uh, yeah, have a good one, all right, later.